Hello, my name is Rodrigo Gutierrez. I'm proudly representing Bridgeland High School. And today I'm going to be showing you my PSA announcement on the dangers of vaping among teens. Thank you. The spread of vaping among teens has raised astronomically over the past few years. If you vape, you should consider these consequences. Studies show that nicotine can cause slow brain development in teens and affect memory, concentration, learning, self-control, and mood. Use hashtag stop vaping now to spread awareness. Stop now. Now that the video is over, I want to go over the process I went through to create this video with the prompt provided and how I accomplished what the prompt wanted me to do. So the prompt is, create a public service announcement for your school and community on the health risks of vaping. So I targeted this towards my school by targeting the PSA towards teens. And this makes sense because I'm in high school. And for health risks, I chose mental health risks of teens while vaping over time. Now for research, I chose the National Institutes of Health for many of my facts. I had other sources, but I soon realized while filming that it would be a lot longer than 30 seconds, so I cut out what was least important and kept what was most important, and I was left with many facts from the National Institutes of Health. Now, I also went to the FBLA website, and they gave me many guidelines of things I should do, the prompt, how long the video should be, etc. And I also went to YouTube to look at many PSA videos for inspiration. I looked at many tutorial videos to format my PSA video, and also tutorials of how to edit my videos. Now, I had two drafts, my rough draft and my final draft. So my rough draft was a lot longer than my final draft. And the reasoning is I used the National Institutes of Health as many of, for many of my sources, but I also used sources separate from the National Institutes of Health. And I had many facts, but I soon realized while filming it was a lot longer than 30 seconds, so I had to cut it down. So I took what was least important, I cut it out, kept what was most important, and I was left with many facts from the National Institutes of Health. I also wanted this video to be more factual than opinionated, just so it can maintain its reliability. So I wanted it to start out with a hook, not a regular hook, a shocking fact. So the shocking fact was two in five high school teen seniors report past year vaping. Now, if you really think about that, that's a lot of people. And I hope it shocked you guys. Now, also, I wanted there to be a solution that wasn't, that was different. Now, for hashtag stop vaping, I wanted it to fit today's day. So what I mean by that is with COVID-19, we are in a very virtual time, especially with teens. And I wanted it to be something that could be virtual and not physical because it would spread a lot faster virtually because social media is, is very gigantic in teens. And I'm hoping that it, it will work. And for filming, I used my iPhone to film. I used wevideo.com to edit my videos and I filmed in San Francisco. So I wanted this video to mirror the style of medication videos. Now, what I mean by that is Medication videos often have happy people in the background doing things with their family, playing Frisbee in slow motion, playing on the piano with their family, running with their dog. And there's a voiceover of someone describing the effects of their medication, how they should talk to their doctor. I wanted it to be like that, but in a more somber tone. So I did that. I, fi I filmed myself in the middle of San Francisco in black and white alone. And I had my voiceover, the effects of vaping. I said many of the effects of vaping cutting to different clips of me alone in black and white. And I thought it really set the mood. So I really wanna thank you guys. I wanna thank you a lot. Uh, stay safe out there and have a great day.